Hello, and welcome to Fried Chicken, an overview. Brought to you by Docurific. Fried Chicken, also known as Southern Fried Chicken, is a dish consisting of chicken pieces that have been coated with seasoned flour or butter and pan fried, deep fried, pressure fried, or air fried. The breading adds a crisp coating or crust to the exterior of the chicken while retaining juices in the meat. Broiler chickens are most commonly used. The first dish known to have been deep fried was fritters, which were popular in the European Middle Ages. However, the Scottish were the first Europeans to deep fry their chicken in fat though without seasoning. Meanwhile, Many West African peoples had traditions of seasoned fried chicken though battering and cooking the chicken in palm oil. Scottish frying techniques and West African seasoning techniques were combined by enslaved Africans and African Americans in the American South. History the American English expression fried chicken was first recorded in the eras and frequently appears in American cookbooks of the eras and eras. The origin of fried chicken in the southern states of America has been traced to precedents of Scottish and West African cuisine. Scottish fried chicken was cooked in fat but unseasoned, while West African fried chicken was seasoned but battered and cooked in palm oil. Scottish frying techniques and African seasoning techniques were used in the American South by enslaved Africans that free chicken provided some means of an independent economy for enslaved and segregated African American women, who became noted sellers of poultry live or cooked as early as theirs. Because of the expensive nature of the ingredients, it was, despite popular belief, a red dish in the African-American community reserved as in Africa for special occasions. When it was introduced to the American South, fried chicken became a common staple. Later, as the slave trade led to Africans being brought to work on southern plantations, the enslaved people who became cooks incorporated seasonings and spices that were absent in traditional Scottish cuisine, enriching the flavour. Since most enslaved people were unable to raise expensive meats, but were generally allowed to keep chickens, frying chicken on special occasions continued in the African-American communities of the South, especially in the periods of segregation that closed off most restaurants to the black population American-style fried chicken gradually passed into everyday use as a general southern dish, especially after the abolition of slavery, and its popularity spread. Since fried chicken travelled well in hot weather before refrigeration was commonplace and industry growth reduced its cost, it gained further favour across the South. Fried chicken continues to be among this region's top choices for Sunday dinner. Holidays such as Independence Day and other gatherings often feature this dish. During the 20th century, chain restaurants focused on fried chicken began among the boom in the fast food industry. Brands such as Kentucky Fried Chicken, Popeyes, and Bojangles expanded in the United States and across the world. Before the industrialization of chicken production and the creation of broiler breeds of chicken, only young spring chickens, pullets, or cockerels would be suitable for the higher heat and relatively fast cooking time of frying, making fried chicken the luxury of spring and summer. Also, tougher birds require longer cooking times at lower temperatures. To compensate for this, sometimes tougher birds are simmered till tender, allowed to cool and dry, and then fried. Description Fried chicken has been described as being crunchy and juicy, as well as crispy. The dish has also been called spicy and salty. Occasionally, fried chicken is also topped with chili like paprika or hot sauce to give it a spicy taste. This is especially common in fast food restaurant chains such as KFC. The dish is traditionally served with mashed potatoes, gravy, macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, corn or biscuits of dish is renowned for being greasy especially when coming from fast food outlets. 
It has even been reported that some of those who enjoy eating their food limit themselves to eating it only a certain number of times a year to keep their fat intake reasonably low. Out of the various parts of the animal used in fried chicken, the wings generally tend to contain the most fat, with almost 40 grams 1.4 oz of fat for every 100 grams 3.5 oz. However, the average whole fried chicken contains only around 12% fat, or 12 grams 0.42 oz per every 100 grams 3.5 oz. 100 grams 3.5 oz of fried chicken generally contains around 240 calories of energy. Preparation Generally, chickens are not fried whole. Instead, the chicken is divided into its constituent pieces. The white meat sections are the breast and the wings from the front of the chicken, while the dark meat sections are the thighs and legs or drumsticks from the rear of the chicken. The breast is typically split into two pieces, and the back is usually discarded. Chicken fingers which are bonus pieces of chicken breast cut into long strips, are also commonly used to prepare the chicken pieces for frying. They are typically coated in a flour-based batter that may contain eggs or milk, or they may be dredged in flour or breadcrumbs. Seasoning such as salt, black pepper, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, or onion powder can be mixed in with the flour. Either process may be preceded by marination or dipping in buttermilk, the acidity of which acts as a meat tenderizer. As the pieces of chicken cook, some of the moisture that exudes from the chicken is absorbed by the coating of flour and browns along with the flour, creating a flavorful crust. Traditionally, lard is used to fry the chicken, but corn oil, peanut oil, canola oil, soybean oil, or other vegetable oils are also frequently used. The flavour of olive oil is generally considered too strong to be used for traditional fried chicken, and its low smoke point makes it unsuitable for use. There are three main techniques for frying chickens. Pan frying, deep frying and roasting pan frying or shallow frying requires a frying pan of sturdy construction and a source of fat that does not fully immerse the chicken. The chicken pieces are prepared as above, then fried. Generally, the fat is heated to a temperature hot enough to seal without browning, at this point outside of the chicken pieces. Once the pieces have been added to the hot fat and sealed, the temperature is reduced. There is debate as to how often to turn the chicken pieces, with one camp arguing for often turning and even browning, and the other camp pushing for letting the pieces render skin side down and only turning when necessary. Once the chicken pieces are close to being done, the temperature is raised and the pieces are browned to the desired colour. Some cooks add small amounts of butter at this point to enhance browning. The moisture from the chicken that sticks and browns on the bottom of the pan becomes the funds required to make gravy. Deep frying requires a deep fryer or other devices in which the chicken pieces can be completely submerged in hot fat. The process of deep frying is placing food fully in oil and then cooking it at a very high temperature. The pieces are prepared as described above. The fat is heated in the deep fryer to the desired temperature. The pieces are added to the fat and a constant temperature is maintained throughout the cooking process. Roasting uses a pressure cooker to accelerate the process. The moisture inside the chicken becomes steam and increases the pressure in the cocoa, lowering the cooking temperature as needed. The steam also cooks the chicken through, but still allows the pieces to be moist and tender while maintaining a crisp coating. Fat is heated in a pressure cooker. Chicken pieces are prepared as described above and then placed in the hot fat. The lid is placed on the pressure cooker and the chicken pieces are thus fried under press or f derivative phrases country fried and chicken fried often refer to other foods prepared in the manner of fried chicken. Usually, this means a boneless, tenderized piece of meat that has been floored or battered and cooked in any of the methods described. Chicken fried steak is a common dish of that variety. Such dishes are often served with gravy.
variants. Barbaritan chicken, also known as Serbian fried chicken, is a version created by Serbian immigrants in Barbaritan, Ohio, that has been popularized throughout that state. Chicken and waffles is a combination platter of foods traditionally served at breakfast and dinner in one meal, common to soul food restaurants in the American South and beyond. Chicken Maryland is a form of pan-fried chicken, often marinated in buttermilk, served with cream gravy and native to the state of Maryland. The recipe spread beyond the United States to the whole cuisine of August Escoffia and, after heavy modification, found a place in the cuisines of Britain and Australia. The dish is made when a pan of chicken pieces and fat, as for pan frying, is placed in the oven to cook for a majority of the overall cooking time, basically fried in the oven. Hot chicken, common in the Nashville, Tennessee area, is a pan fried variant coated with lard and cayenne pepper paste. Popcorn chicken, also known as chicken bites or other similar terms, are small morsels of boneless chicken, battered and fried, resulting in small pieces that resemble popcorn. Racial stereotype Since the American Civil War, traditional slave foods like fried chicken, watermelon, and chitterlings have suffered a strong association with African-American stereotypes and blackface minstrelsy. The reasons for this are various. Chicken dishes were popular among enslaved people before the Civil War, as chickens were generally the only animals enslaved people were allowed to raise on their own. This was commercialized for the first half of the 20th century by restaurants like Sambo's and Kim Chicken Inn, which selected exaggerated depictions of black people as mascots, implying quality by their association with the stereotype. Although also being acknowledged positively as soul food today, the affinity that African-American culture has for fried chicken has been considered by some to be a delicate, often pejorative issue. On two occasions the call for Tiger Woods has been the target of remarks regarding fried chicken. The first occurred in 1997 when golfer Fuzzy Zola said that we should avoid choosing fried chicken and collard greens for the Masters Tournament Champions dinner the following year. The second when golfer Sergio Glocker was asked in a press conference in 2013 whether he would invite Woods to dinner during the US Open to settle their ongoing feud. Coco a Spaniard who was unaware of the existence of the stereotype in American culture, committed a gaffe saying, we will have him round every night, we will serve fried chicken, which would said was wrong, hurtful and clearly inappropriate. Both Solar and Gok subsequently apologised to Woods of various groups and organisations have been criticised for serving fried chicken during Black History Month making references to Obama fried chicken and other racial stereotypes associated with the food. Thank you for watching our video on fried chicken brought to you by Dip Curific. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.